Hey y'all, so I am vlogging today. Um, I'm kind of hesitant to vlog because as y'all know, I use my iPhone um, to record and my iPhone is pretty crappy. I still have the iPhone 6. Yeah, I was gonna go get the 8 today, but then I'm like, no, I might as well just get the 10, but then I don't even know if I want the 10 because I'm like, I can just buy a new MacBook, but I don't need a new MacBook. So I don't know what I'm doing y'all. Maybe I should just buy a camera. Um, I don't know, but uh, my makeup looks pretty crappy. I'm not using my Fenty Beauty today, and now that I've uh, like switched over to Fenty Beauty, everything else just looks ashy. So whatever. Um, but yeah, it's uh, almost six o'clock p.m. Um, I just came home. Well, I got home today at like three o'clock. Um, I only had one class, and then I laid around, ate some snacks. Um, yeah, that's usually what I do when I get home from class. So how's this vlog going to work? Um, so it's going to be starting off like now at 6 p.m. And then I'm going to go through my day tomorrow as well. And I feel like this makes sense because like tonight I'll be doing my readings for the classes that I have tomorrow. So yeah. Um, so I'm going to make some food and then I'm going to read for class tomorrow. I'm so. going to be eating healthy tonight, y'all. This is a fad. Um, usually don't eat healthy at all I've actually been eating like crap like last night I laid in bed watched YouTube videos and ate like 12 Reese's um, but I don't know I just feel like eating healthy tonight so I'm making some salmon um, this is my first time ever making salmon 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 I don't know which one it's <laughs> what it is but um, yeah it's my first time making it so I only bought one piece because it's kind of expensive and y'all know I'm cheap and I don't want to, you know, mess it up. So I just bought one piece, and so I'm going to make that. Um, then I'm going to make a piece of tilapia. I have to make two meals because I need something to eat for lunch tomorrow. So, yeah, um, that's that. I'm going to have a side of broccoli, some rice I made yesterday. Just going to warm that up. And this is going to be a quick and easy meal because that's what a law student needs. Y'all, I have no idea what to do with this salmon. Like, am I supposed to season the other side? Like, am I supposed to cut this off? If y'all want to comment and tell me for future reference, because I clearly don't know what I'm doing. I just put some lorries and some pepperoni in, you know? So yeah, I guess that's it. Just gonna wrap it up and put it in the oven. Put it in the oven. I don't know how long it takes to cook, but it's whatever. Just so while that cooks, I figure now is like the perfect time to sit down and talk to you guys a little bit about um, my class schedule, just so you know what's going to be going on the rest of the vlog. What classes am I taking this semester? This semester I have evidence, which is at 8.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. So I'll be waking up at about, um, let's say 7, probably 7.30. 15, but 7 um because i'm supposed to leave the house at 7 45 in order to make it there by 8 30 but um yeah so i'm taking evidence what else do i have i have first amendment law y'all that class is i don't even know we can't have computers in there um he doesn't talk about any of the readings so i just be sitting there trying to go with the flow participate every other class maybe but i'm lost so yeah that's that um i have business associations i thought it was going to be really hard but it's actually not that bad y'all like we did like a chapter overview at the beginning and um well like an overview of the course at the beginning and now we're just like going into more depth everything that we've already covered so far so that's not bad um then what else do I have? I have trademarks, which is pretty cool. Um, I was interested in that because of YouTube. And then also I'm in the Tiger program, which is something unique to Emory. But um, what the Tiger program is, it is in, uh, it's for people who want to practice intellectual property mainly or like entrepreneurship law. There's one other JD student on the team with me. Um, there's three MBA students and then there's a PhD student. So our PhD student has created this technology and we are working with him to commercialize it. So that means doing like a market market research and just finding out like who we should be selling it to, an industry analysis, 
y'all. I'm so glad. I never thought about doing an MBA, being a business major, none of that stuff because it's all horrible. I hate it. Um, yes, yeah, not for me at all. And then we're also doing, um, you know, like patent searches and everything to figure out if he can, in fact, patent this project, which is kind of like his ultimate goal in it, I guess. If you have a patent, it makes your business plan stronger. That's that's what I've gotten out of the class so far for the most part. Um, what else? Uh, of course, I'm doing moot court. We had a meeting today about our standards and the things that we need to accomplish in order to get a credit, um, to get our credits. We get two credits in the spring semester, but we do work in the fall and spring semester. So yeah, we get two credits. So um, we just talked about like things we need to do to satisfy our credit requirement. Basically, you just have to compete in the competition and do like a good job like for the most part, it doesn't seem like anything super hard. Um, so yeah, I went to class today. I had one class and I had that meeting. Then I went to the grocery store. Then I went to Target. And today was a joke, but um, it's time to get serious. So I'm gonna go get my evidence book. Um, I usually sit right here at the table or over here on the couch and read. Um, so I was planning on reading for evidence and First Amendment law tonight, but First Amendment law is such a joke that I didn't even bring the book home. So yeah, I guess I'll have to do that tomorrow. I have a super long break, so I get done with evidence at 10 and First Amendment isn't until one. So from 10 to one, I'll read for First Amendment and BA, which is business associations. So for evidence, at the end of every class, he sent, he tells us what to read for the next class. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to read um, ahead. I guess if you really wanted to be like an overachiever, you could because he has like the syllabus with a list of all the readings. But um, in class, he'll be like, okay, um, do the next reading up to page 196. That's what we're reading to for tomorrow. So you can kind of see how it's broken up. So um, maybe like tomorrow, I'll let you guys know for sure. But it'll probably be like 112 to 125. But we might not even do all of that because he's really nice. So we usually don't have long readings. And this seems, well, that's not long. So yeah, we'll probably do this um, section for next class. Oh, ideally, if I wanted to be great, I could go ahead and read that, but I'm not going to read that. I'm just going to read what's been assigned. And um, I don't know, I kind of don't like to go ahead anyways, because you kind of get confused. Or you like, y'all, my pet peeve, law school pet peeve is like when people bring up stuff. Um, stuff that like we haven't talked about yet because they read ahead they're like oh yeah what about this and the professor is like hmm, yeah that does matter but we haven't made it there yet so don't be that person just you don't gotta do go uh, read ahead just don't fall behind that's my um my thing I just don't fall behind just do what was assigned and you'll be fine Ooh, that was the rhyme do a sign and you'll be fine do a sign and you'll be fine so I have to read from page 188 to 196. Evidence is kind of weird because we don't read that many cases. Sorry, y'all. This I'm just going to go turn that light off because it's bothering me. Hopefully the lighting is still okay. But yeah, um, evidence, there's not that many cases. It's more like we read the rules and then we do like sample problems. Um, I kind of like it. It's less reading, that's for sure. Um, yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and read. Um, I'm not going to read aloud because that's weird. Y'all, this Apple Watch is such a distraction. Don't buy it. We'll buy it, but turn it off sometime because this is a distraction. But okay, here I go. I'm going to go get a Snickers to help me read. I decided on a Reese's instead. So this is, is what I was talking about, um, like we'll read something like we were reading about admissions and hearsay. And so then there's like a problem um, in class, we'll like go over the problem. So sometimes I read them, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I like to have an idea of like um, what the answer is. Oh my God, y'all, I just realized that tomorrow I'm getting cold called in evidence. So I really do need to do this problem. Like I'm going to do all the problems because in... um. 
evidence he goes like up and down the rows and he's already made it around the classroom once so now it's about to be my second cold call and it's tomorrow so oh uh, yeah i'm gonna read this problem so this is still evidence um i did come across one case it is one well like half one two three like three and a half pages so that'll take me like um probably 12 minutes because i just skim it so we're going to talk about it in class anyways. So I think 2L year is the year of the skim. So 1L year, you read like so in depth. You're like so concerned, so worried. You read every sentence, reread. Um, 2L year, two year is definitely the year of the skim. So you just read a little bit just so you can know what's going on in class. Maybe answer a question. And then I, I'm not there yet. But 3L year, I'm assuming that's just the year you don't read. I'm too grown for that. All right, so I'm done skimming, um, kind of understand it. So I'm gonna take some notes, but first I'm gonna go check out my food. So the food wasn't even close to being done and I'm hungry, so I turned the oven up. But yeah, in the meantime, in between time, we're gonna take these notes. So um, I made a video last year on how I take notes. Um, I'll link the video, but I pretty much do the same thing. It worked last year, so I switch it up. Um, like I said, I use OneNote, and I do. Um, so on the left side, I do my own notes, and then on the right side over here, um, these are like other notes from class or just like additions. Pretty much things in class, and then I'll combine it together for my outline. Yeah, um, also I have this like little case brief template, and... Whenever I need it, I just copy and go to evidence, scroll down, and case. I'll only need one because there's only one um, case in this section. So basically, I'm just going to write down um, the chapter title, the head. What do they call them? Headlines? I, I don't know. These things. Those, whatever those are called. I'm going to write those down. And then, um, as well as the things that I highlighted. Yeah, so that was pretty quick. I'm done with that. Um, I don't want to do anything else. But I have so many other things that I could do. Or I could just watch YouTube. Hmm. So these are my notes for class tomorrow and then um, as the professor talks I like add stuff over here and when that but yeah. So for um, the other class that I'm in the tiger class that I was telling you guys about with um, Georgia Tech like I have to go to Georgia Tech every Monday um, we have team meetings every Friday so basically every Monday and Friday I'm going to Georgia Tech um, so, yeah, but, um, like, I have a whole, like, Georgia Tech login and everything, like, I'm a student there, y'all. I have an ID, so I go to two schools, like, can't nobody even hit me with the you don't even go there. I'm trying to look at one of our assignments, so my team is working on Dropbox, um, but when the hurricane came, came, um, hurricane came, we had missed um, one of the classes. So now we have three projects due on the same day. I did one of them, go me. Um, well, I didn't do it. I started it and I put it on Dropbox. And so I basically drafted it. Yeah, I drafted it. Um, what are the other ones? My colleague, my JD colleague, Jasmine, she offered to do another one. And then we have an industry analysis part two where we have to discuss market definition and growth rivalry buyers and suppliers and entry so i guess this is like five forces this is some nba stuff i'm not signing up to do this so one of them needs to sign up to do it but it's due on monday and it hasn't been started and i'm kind of freaking out because i'm a perfectionist i get all my work done in time and i don't like this someone needs to do it all right, so dinner is ready. I tried to plate it and everything for y'all. I am not a master chef. Um, I don't know what is on the salmon. Is it supposed to be like that, y'all? Should I eat it? Is it contaminated? But um, 
So I'm gonna go watch some TV and eat my din din and I shall return. Y'all, I can't believe I'm eating this. I mean, it's good, kind of. It's really, really bland though. I feel like somebody's white grandmother made this meal. It's not for me, I need some fried chicken. No, fish. I need some catfish and some spaghetti. I love that meal. But I'm going to continue eating my little non-seasoned dusty dinner. So, I just put my bonnet on. I'm about to put on my jammas. That means I'm done vlogging for the day. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. <laughs> we just finished evidence. Uh, we all had our cold calls today. We did so crappy. <laughs> the 